In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful baby blanket with this beautiful and easy to make border. Now, the stitch that I use to make this baby blanket is the Snowdrop Crochet Stitch Pattern. It's a stitch that I showed you in my channel a few months ago. Many of you commented and asked that I make a baby blanket, so here it is. Now, make sure to comment and let me know if you want me to make the matching little cardigan sweater or a little hat. I'll gladly go ahead and do that for you all. And as always, if you prefer written patterns, check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link to my Etsy shop in the information box below. Thank you so much for your support. Now to make this baby blanket, this is the yarn that I used. I used a total of 723 grams. In the main color, I used air and weight and I used 700 grams. In the secondary color, which I used for the border, I only used about 23 grams and this is DK weight yarn. Now you can make your blanket smaller or bigger, so make sure to watch at the end of the tutorial since that is where I leave the finished measurement of my baby blanket. You can easily adjust the size, you can make it smaller or bigger, and you can even use any yarn weight with any hook size. The important thing is a stitch multiple, which I will give as soon as we start the tutorial. Okay, let's get started. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications bell so that YouTube can recommend my videos. And if you like this tutorial, please hit that like button. Thanks so much for watching. Okay, to crochet this baby blanket, I'll be using this six millimeter crochet hook. And today I'm using this Style Craft Special Air and Weight yarn. In the information box, I'll go ahead and leave how much yarn I'm going to use for my baby blanket. So be sure to check that out. Now you can also use any yarn weight with any hook size. The important thing here is the stitch multiple. The stitch multiple to this pattern is multiples of three. And the stitch pattern that I'm going to use to make this baby blanket is the uh, Snowdrop Crochet crochet stitch pattern in my channel. I already have a tutorial on how you make this stitch. So let's get started here. Now for my baby blanket, I have a total of 123 chains. Now this chain here without stretching, it's measuring about 37 centimeters, which is about 94 inches. If you want your baby blanket to be smaller or bigger, you can add or remove chains in multiples of three. At the end of the video, I'll go ahead and leave you the final size measurement of my finished blanket. So be sure to look there for the final size. So here to begin, like I said, I have 123 chains on the second chain from the hook, one, two, into the second chain here, make a single crochet, single crochet into the next chain, single crochet into the next and so on. For this first row, this is all I'm going to do. I'm just going to make single crochets on each chain. At the end of this first row, I'm going to have 122 single crochets. Continue, I'll meet you at the end of this first row. I'm here at the end of this first row. This is where I did single crochets. I have a total of 122 single crochets. Now for the second row, chain two and turn. Now into the third single crochet, counting from the beginning, one, two, three, into this third single crochet here, make two double crochets, chain one, chain two, chain one, single crochet into the same stitch. Now skip one, two, and into the third single crochet, once again, make two double crochets, chain one, single crochet. One more time, skip one, two, and into the third single crochet, make two double crochets, chain one, single crochet. This is how we're going to continue for the rest of this second row. Continue, I'll meet you at the end. I'm here at the end of this second row. I have a total of 40 of these shells that consists of two double crochets, chain one, single crochet. Now here at the end, I have two single crochets left into the last single crochet here at the end, make a single crochet. Now for the third row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now this is the row that we're going to repeat from here on. We have the first shell, we have our chain one space into this chain one space here, make two double crochets chain one 
and then we have the two double crochets into the first double crochet right here make a front post single crochet one more time we have the second shell into the chain space here make two double crochets chain one and then into the first double crochet out of these two right here work a front post single crochet one more time into the chain space of the next shell make two double crochets chain one front post single crochet into the first double crochet and this is all we're going to do for this third row continue i'll meet you at the end I'm at the end of the third row. I have a total of 40 of these shells again. Remember that this is the row that we're going to repeat from here on. Now to finish the row here at the end, we have two chains. I'm going to finish my row by going into the second chain, which is this one here at the top, right there. And I'm going to make a single crochet. That's how I finished the third row. Now for the fourth row, chain two and turn. You always begin with two chains and you always end with a single crochet, just like I did here at the end. Now here we have the first shell into the chain space. We're going to make two double crochets, chain one, and then a front pull single crochet into the first double crochet. Again, we have the second shell into the chain space make two double crochets, chain one, front pull single crochet into the first double crochet. One more time into the chain space, make two double crochets, chain one, front pull single crochet. Continue like this to the end of this fourth row. I'll meet you there. I'm here at the end of the fourth row. Now here at the end to finish the row, remember we have two chains into the second chain here make a single crochet and this is how i finish this fourth row now from here on we're just going to keep on repeating the same row so for the fifth row chain two and turn we have the first shell we have a chain space make two double crochets into this chain space here chain one and then a front post single crochet one more time into the second shell into the chain space make two double crochets chain one front pull single crochet into the first double crochet and that's how you work the snowdrop crochet stitch pattern it's absolutely beautiful you're just going to continue and repeat the same row over and over until you have the size that you want i'm not sure how many rows i'm going to do but continue watching i will let you know exactly how many rows i'm going to do for my baby blanket so i will meet you at the end of that row i'm almost done with the baby blanket look how beautiful this stitch pattern is I absolutely love this. Now I have done a total of 79 pattern rows plus the first row that we did here of single crochets. I have 80 rows total. Now I'm not going to make any more rows. If you want to make this bigger, you can. I'm only going to do these 80 rows. As it is, it's measuring about 34 inches long by 40 inches wide. So I'm going to leave my blanket like this. If you want to make it bigger, you can. Um, I have used so far 590 grams of yarn. Now what we're going to do next is the border. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make single crochets all around. Now the border that I'm going to show you, you can make it on any blanket with any stitch pattern. The important thing is that you have the same number of stitches. For example, if on this side you have 80 stitches on the other side you're going to make sure to have 80 stitches and for the top and bottom if you have 90 stitches then that's the important thing make sure that you have the same number of stitches also make sure to start your border on the right side of your blanket if you start it on the wrong side then the border is going to be on the wrong side and the corners they need to be worked exactly how i'm going to show you so this here is going to be the fourth corner so i'm going to work that corner last so i'm going to continue along this side first so to do this first row i'm going to chain one here's my last stitch this is a half double crochet so right into this half double crochet make a single crochet now i have these chain two i'm going to make two single crochets then i have the next row make a single crochet and again i have two chains make two single crochets and this is how i'm going to continue all around
Now, if you have different stitches here at the end, this is how um, I usually work mine. If I have a double crochet at the end, then what I do is make two single crochets. If I have a single crochet or a half double crochet, then I make one. Or if I have two chains or three chains at the end, I always make two. Um, the important thing here is that you don't add too many single crochets and that way this part here lays nice and flat and again making sure that both sides have the same number of stitches and the top and bottom as well so this is all i'm going to do here all around just making one single crochet and then two where i have the two chains so continue like this making single crochets i will meet you right here this is going to be the first corner I finished making single crochets along this side now up to here this is the single crochet row i have 119 single crochets now into the next row which is the row of chains right here i'm going to make this my first corner so in this corner here i'm going to make three single crochets now place a stitch marker to mark the second single crochet which is the middle stitch right there and now we're going to continue along this side making single crochets on each one of these stitches in the same stitch that we did the single crochet so these are the chains so right where we did the single crochets into that same stitch you're going to make a single crochet to make this part here easier so continue along and work one single crochet until you come here to the second corner i will meet you here to show you what we need to do next i finished making these single crochets along the bottom here i have a total of 120 single crochets counting after the third single crochet here for the first corner so here's the second here's the third so from this one here up to here i have 120 single crochets so now into this last stitch here i'm going to turn this into the second corner so here i'm going to make three single crochets there now i'm going to place a stitch marker to mark the second stitch here this is the center stitch and now i'm going to continue along this side and make single crochets so here make a single crochet into this next row and then into the next make two this part here is the same how we work the first side and i'm going to make sure to have the same number of stitches so continue along this side making sure to make the same number of single crochets as you did for the first side i will meet you right here this is going to be the third corner and then i'll show you what we need to do next i finished making these single crochets along this side here i have a total of 119 single crochets not counting the three single crochets that we did here for the second corner so from here up to this last one that i did here into this chain space i have 119 single crochets now into this next stitch here right i'm going to go through the space here i'm going to make my third corner so i'm going to make three single crochets here now place a stitch marker into the second single crochet so right there to mark this center stitch of this corner so now we're going to continue along the top and work let's see we have two double crochets and a single crochet so we're going to make three single crochets here let me show you this is the first fan so on top of the first two double crochets make a single crochet now skip the chain space and into the front post single crochet make a single crochet let me show you again we have the next one make a single crochet into the next two double crochets skip the chain space and into the front post single crochet make a single crochet so this is how we're going to work the top part of the blanket here this is the last row that i did before i started the border so continue i will meet you here at the end this is where we're going to make the fourth corner so continue and i'll meet you right here to show you what we need to do next i finished making these single crochets along the top now up to here this is my last stitch i have 120 single crochets now into this next space here i'm going to make my fourth corner so here i'm going to make three single crochets now before you continue don't forget to place a stitch marker here into the second 
single crochet to mark the center and now we're going to go on top of the first single crochet and join with a slip stitch and this is how i finished the first row where i did single crochets all around now for each one of the sides we have 119 single crochets for the top and bottom we have 120 single crochets and on each corner we have three single crochets so if we count all of these single crochets including the corners I have 490 single crochets. Now for the second row, I'm going to chain two and right into the same stitch that we joined to, which is the first single crochet, I'm going to make a double crochet. Make a double crochet into the next single crochet, double crochet into the next, and so on. Here for this second row, this is all I'm going to do. I'm just going to work double crochets all around. I want there to be a space here so that when the blanket is done i'm going to weave a ribbon through this row here so continue like this i will meet you right here this is the first corner i will meet you right here and show you how we're going to work each one of the corners I finished making these double crochets along this first side. I have a total of 120 double crochets here for this side. My next stitch here is the corner stitch, so where we have the stitch marker. So into this corner stitch, I'm going to make a V-stitch. So make a double crochet, two chains, one double crochet and this is how you're going to work each one of the corners now you're going to continue along and work double crochets here for the bottom part until you come to the second corner into each one of the corners you're going to repeat the same thing you're going to make a V stitch exactly how I showed you here so continue along and finish this second row I will meet you at the end to show you what we need to do next I finished making these double crochets for the top I have a total of 122 double crochets here for the top. Now I have my corner here, so into this next stitch I'm going to make my V-stitch. So make a double crochet, two chains, one double crochet. Now I have one double crochet left and this is part of this side, so I'm going to make a double crochet here. Now to finish, go on top of the first double crochet, not the chains, and join with a slip stitch. And this is how I finish this second row. Now for the top and bottom, you should have 122 double crochets. For the sides, you should have 121 double crochets, plus the stitches here on the corners, which we have two times four, that's eight stitches more. So in total, 494 double crochets at the end of the second row. Now for the third row, chain three and turn. These three chains do not count as a stitch. We're going to work this next row from the wrong side. So into these next two, make a front post double crochet. Now, the reason why I turned is because uh, front post double crochets are easier to make. I could have just continued along this side and made back post double crochets, but um, front post double crochets are easier to make and faster, so that's why we turned. Now, into the chain two space of each corner, I'm going to make a V-stitch. So make a double crochet, two chains, double crochet. And then I'm going to continue for these stitches here for the top and work a front post double crochet on each double crochet like this. That's all we're going to do on each one of the double crochets. A front post double crochet in each corner is going to be worked exactly in the same way. So this here is the fourth corner since we're working from the back side. So continue, I will meet you right here. This is the third corner to show you once again how to work each one of the corners from here on for this third row. I finished making these front post double crochets here for the top part. This is the third corner. I'm going to, let's see, up to here I have a total of 124 double crochets counting from this first stitch here, not the V-stitch. So from here up to here, I have a total of 124 double crochets. Now into this third corner, into the chain two space, we're going to make a V-stitch. So into each corner, you're going to make a V-stitch as well. And now you're just going to continue along for the side here. 
and work a front post double crochet on each one of these double crochets along this side and when you get to the second corner remember we're working on the wrong side here when you get to the second corner you're going to make a v stitch as well and then work the stitches for the bottom side and then in the first corner you're going to do the exact same thing so continue like this for this third row just making front post double crochets and then in each corner making v-stitches i will meet you at the end of this third row i'm almost done with this third row now up to here i have 120 double crochets counting from this corner here not the stitches here in the corner but rather this one here up to here i have 120 i have the last double crochet here so here i'm going to work a front post double crochet so that's 121 i have the three chains which i told you do not count so to finish here i'm just going to go here on top of the first double crochet and i'm going to join with a slip stitch so here for this side i had 121 then the three chains 22 23 so for this side here i have 123 double crochets make sure you do not count the three chains the three chains are there so that there's no gap between the last and the first stitch there so now at the end of this third row for the top and bottom you should have 124 double crochets not counting the corners and then for the sides 123 double crochets now if you count all of the stitches including the corners you should have a total of 502 double crochets at the end of this third row so now for the fourth row i'm going to turn do not chain or anything just turn now what I'm going to do here is these are the chains. I'm going to go into the next double crochet, which is the last one that I did, and I'm going to make a slip stitch here. There. So if you count from this corner, the chain two, we have one, two, three. These are the chains. So into the fourth double crochet, I'm right there, right on top. So right here, I'm going to work a fan. So chain three these three chains do count now and then make two double crochets chain one and right into this same double crochet make three double crochets so we're going to be making these fans now so each fan is going to consist of three double crochets one chain three double crochets now skip two double crochets and into the third here make a front post double crochet skip two double crochets and into the third on top make a fan again skip one two and into the third double crochet make a front post double crochet now skip one two and on top of the third make a fan and this is all we're going to do here to the first corner again skip two and into the third make a front post double crochet skip two and into the third on top make a fan and this is how we're going to continue here until we come to the first corner now we may need to make some adjustments because i need to finish this row with a front post double crochet because on each corner i'm going to be making fans so continue finish this side and i will meet you right here to show you what we need to do next i finished making these fans here along the side up to here i have 20 fans here i did a front post double crochet so i skipped two after the fan and into the third i did a front post double crochet now i have four stitches left one two three four so here we're going to make a small adjustment here because i don't have enough stitches and i need to finish with a front post double crochet my next stitch here needs to be a fan so what i'm going to do is i'm going to skip the next double crochet and into the second here i'm going to make a fan
So now along this side here, I have 21 fans. Skip the next double crochet and into the first double crochet here of the V stitch for the corner, make a front post double crochet and into the chain space here of the V stitch, make a fan. Now make a front post double crochet into the second double crochet of this v-stitch and here is the first corner. So all we're going to do is a front post fan front post double crochet. Now we're going to continue for the bottom part here. So same thing. I'm going to skip two and into the third here I'm going to make a fan. skip two and into the third make a front post double crochet skip two on top of the third make a fan and then continue along for the bottom part until you come to the second corner i will meet you right here to show you how we're going to work the second corner I finished making these fans for the bottom part. I have a total of 21 fans here for the bottom. Here's the second corner. I have two double crochets left. I have this one and then the one here for the corner. So into this last double crochet here, make a front post double crochet. Now into the second corner in the chain space here, make a fan. Now into the next double crochet, which is part of the V-stitch here, make a front post double crochet. Now we're going to continue along this second side. Here I'm going to make sure to have 21 fans because that's how many I had for the first side. So to begin here, I'm going to skip two double crochets, these next two, and into the third here, I'm going to make a fan. Now skip two double crochets and into the third make a front post double crochet. Skip two double crochets and on top of the third make a fan. And this is how you're going to continue until you come here to the next corner which is the third corner. I will meet you right here to show you what we need to do next. I finished making these fans along the second side here. I have 20 fans up to here. Now I have four double crochets left, two, four. I'm going to skip one and into the next here I'm going to make my last fan so that for this side I have 21 fans which is the same number of fans as we did for the first side. So each side has 21 fans, the bottom has 21 as well, and for the top we're going to make sure to have 21. So here's fan number 21, skip one double crochet and into this corner double crochet, make a front post double crochet and into the third corner make a fan. Now into the corner double crochet here make a front post double crochet and now for the top we're going to continue in the same way skip two and on top of the third I'm going to make a fan skip two and into the third make a front post double crochet skip two and on top of the next a fan continue like this along the top part I will meet you here this is the fourth corner to show you what we need to do next I finished making these fans here for the top part here now here's the fourth corner I have my last fan I have 21 fans so here at the end into this corner double crochet I'm going to make a front post double crochet and into the fourth corner I'm going to make my fan Now into the second double crochet of this corner, make a front post double crochet. And now to finish, we're going to go here to the beginning into the third chain. We're going to join with a slip stitch. Now cut your yarn and pass your yarn through this last loop. And this row here is done and this is how it looks. So 
the border of this baby blanket is almost done. We're just going to make one more row. In another tutorial, I'm going to show you the same blanket with the same um, border here, but we're going to make it more elaborate. We're going to continue and make more rows here of fans, so stay tuned for that. For this one, I'm going to keep it nice and simple, so we're going to make one last row here for this one. In the information box, if you're interested in watching that other version, I'll go ahead and leave the link there. So here, to begin, we have the first fan between the first two double crochets, insert your hook. I'm going to be using um, a smaller hook size. This is a four millimeter, and I'm going to be using this DK weight yarn. You can also use number three or a ply. Um, I like the way how this last row looks with a slightly thinner yarn, so that's why I'm using um, thinner yarn to make this last row. So here you can also use um, a 4.5 or even a 3.5 millimeter hook as well. If you continue with the larger hook, then um, it's going to look a little different. So I would recommend um, to go down um, half a hook size or even a full hook size um, if you can. So here to continue, this is going to be the fifth row. Oh, I forgot to mention that at the end of the fourth row where we did this row of fans, you should have a total of 88 fans. There should be one fan on each corner and for the top and bottom and the sides, you should have 21 fans. So that's a total of 88 fans at the end of that fourth row. So here to begin the fifth row, we're going to chain three. Now between the next two double crochets here, make a slip stitch chain three and into the chain space of this fan which is the center here make a single crochet three chains single crochet now chain three between the next two double crochets make a slip stitch chain three slip stitch between the next two and here between the fans, we have a front post double crochet. Here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chain two, then I'm going to work a front post single crochet, chain two, and now we go into the next fan and between the next two double crochets, so these two, make a slip stitch, chain three. Between the next two, make a slip stitch, chain three, and right in the center of this fan, make a single crochet, three chains, single crochet. Now we're going to work the other side of the fan. So chain three, between the next two double crochets, make a slip stitch, chain three, between the next two, make a slip stitch. Now between the fans, we have a front post double crochet. So chain two and make a front post single crochet chain two and then go to the next fan and in between the next two make a slip stitch chain three slip stitch between the next two chain three in the center of the fan make a single crochet three chains single crochet i'm going to finish this here and then i'll show you how it looks Chain two between the fans, make a front pull single crochet, chain two, and then start the next fan. So make a slip stitch between the next two, three chains, slip stitch, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, and slip stitch between the next two, and so on. Okay, let me show you how it looks. Look how beautiful this looks. That's what we want. Now you can use pink, blue, white, whatever color you want. Here I'm going to weave a ribbon here and I'm going to use pink. So that's why I'm using pink here. So continue along like this, making these chains with slip stitches into each one of the fans until you come here to the corner. I will meet you right here to show you how we're going to work the corners. It's basically the same thing. Here's the first side and here's the first corner. So here in this fifth row, this is how we're going to work the corners. So between the last two double crochets of this fan here, I did a slip stitch. Now chain two and we have the double crochet here, the front post. We're going to make a front post single crochet. Now chain two 
and jump to the fan in the center between the next two double crochets make a slip stitch chain three slip stitch between the next two double crochets chain three and a single crochet in the center with three chains and a single crochet again three chains slip stitch between the next two double crochets three chains slip stitch between the next two double crochets two chains then a front pull single crochet two chains and then we have the first fan here for the bottom make a slip stitch between the next two and so on so basically it's the same thing that you're going to do for each corner fan so continue like this all around finish this fifth row and then i'll come back and show you the finished blanket along with the finished measurements i finished making this last row here at the end i just joined to the beginning with a slip stitch cut my yarn and pass my yarn through that last loop so the border is all done and here's the finished blanket i absolutely love this stitch pattern this is the snowdrop crochet stitch is a stitch that i showed you in my channel a while back many of you commented and asked that i make a baby blanket so here it is i hope you like it and make sure to comment below and let me know if you want me to make the matching little coat or jacket i'll gladly go ahead and do that for you all so now let me give you the finished measurement including the border the blanket is measuring about 42 inches wide by 38.5 inches long including the border and here as you can see i just weaved this ribbon this is 3 8 of an inch ribbon and what i did was i just cut four pieces exactly in the same size which measured about 65 inches long and i just started here in this corner and went all the way to the other corner and same thing here on this side and right here i just did a little bow now in total i used about 723 grams of yarn 23 grams in pink and about 700 grams in white okay so this was today's tutorial i hope you like it thank you so much for watching until next time